Okay then, folks. So, I said I'll be back soon with uh, another Cold War hero. Uh, did you guess what it was? No, I bet you thought you were going to say something Russian from Eddard, but no. Airfix again, I know. But we are here with their brand new, new mould, 148 Hawker Hunter F6. Uh, again, another one of the re releases we knew were coming soon. Uh, really looking forward to getting this one open. I haven't opened it, it's still sealed, so let's take a look. So we got uh, kit number A09185. We have some uh, CAD work on the outside. That's nothing from there, and uh, nothing on the ends. And on this side here, we have blurb about how, of course, popular the F6 was, and three options in the box. We have the Commander's Aircraft from number 63 Squadron at uh, Waterbeck in 1958. We have uh, number four Flying Training School at RAF Valley in Anglesey in 68, and we have uh, an F6 from the Royal Netherlands Air Force, uh, number 324 Squadron. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Uh, Leeuwarden, anyone? Please correct me. In the Netherlands in 64. Now, of course, as everyone knows, the Hunter, of course, was very popular throughout the world. So I'm sure the uh, aftermarket guys are going to go mental. But I will say that actually, upon delivery of this kit this morning, uh, it was announced that there will be another boxing of these moulds uh, later on in the F4 version so look out for that one coming as well alright unsealed let's have a look what do we have here eh, one box one bag even ok fairly standard very simple ok then we've got all to bump so Let's have a look. Okay, I was expecting this one now after this one. Here we go, right, everything's falling out. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, the usual blurb about the aircraft itself, uh, specifications and so on. We have, right, oh, straight into the uh, cockpit. We've got multiple part um, ejection seats here. Looks like we've got some choices depending on how you want We'll prefer to do the uh, belts and the uh, pull cords for the ejection seat. Got some details going in here actually for the uh, the rails itself and so on. It looks like uh, again that's going to build part of the nose wheel bay. Uh, right, it's got a couple of options here as to exactly how you want to fix. Uh, painting it nice and black. These of course are the new style instructions, so they show you basically how things should be nice and clearly. Uh, fan blades got um, so it looks like we've got part way, uh, you've got right way to the fan blade, and then again out the back. I'm assuming the same. Let's take a close look at those, see if there's any ejection marks and so on. Uh, we've got the again intakes actually going in from the inside. Uh, there is a part here, it says here, just be careful with the options depending on which one you're going to go for. Don't forget the nose weight. Was it wheel tail set? Got the rear section going on there, uh, wing section going on. Sorry, wing section going on there, and the nose. Then you got the um, that's not unusual. So it's top part, top part going on, and then the bottom wings going on. A little bit backwards from uh, what we sometimes see. Uh, so uh, undercarriage bay is going in multiple part, and then being closed in. With the options, of course, drought holes for stores. Uh, they've got rudders going on, tail planes, some small details, then flaps and uh, ailerons all the way through. Again, very clear about how far up down they should go when you're posing them. Uh, undercarriage going on. That's pretty cool. Again, very clear exactly where and how it should go. More undercarriage, slowly building it up. Showing exactly what it should look like from all different angles. I do like these new instructions, they're nice and clear. Uh, paint call outs, of course, in uh, Humbrol, but we expect that. Uh, the um, infamous uh, 
gun cartridge uh, collection uh, sections, the bristles. <clears throat> so we've got multiple part wheels, uh, tanks going on, air brake, and then we're going into some of the small details and the canopy. Uh, for a big piece, looks relatively simple. We've got huge stencil sheets here, though. All of the stencils, all of them, and even more. So be very careful about your uh, stencil diagrams. All right. Talking of which, we have the decals just here. Uh, I do believe, again, that they are cartographed, so uh, and they do look pretty damn awesome, if I'm completely honest. We've got the checkerboard to make that nice and easy if you're going to be doing the commander's one. There's all your stencils. They look beautiful. The uh, instrument panel just there. Some lovely roundels. The options, of course, for the uh, Netherlands uh, option on the bottom. And I'm liking how they've actually cut these all into pieces as well. Uh, so that the codes underneath... You don't have to cut them all up yourself to try and get the uh, undercarriage doors down. That's pretty cool. Like those. Ah, there we go. And then we have the uh, now fairly standard for Airfix, and I do like that. Nice big A3 colour call out showing off it all uh, for the uh, Netherlands option. Nothing on this other side of that one. And then we've got the uh, the colourful uh, commander's aircraft for the Battle Brute display. It'd be nice to know who the commander was. But yeah, we like that. That's pretty cool actually. With the tiles are actually on the top and bottom as well. I didn't realise that. I just thought they were on on the uh, on the upright, but no. Uh, fairly more simple one from the air training school. Yeah, number seventy three at the top. Can you remember that number seventy three? TV show? No? Or am I just old? Okay, I'll shut up. Uh, into the parts. Right, so again... Come on, guys. Here we go. See that? You see what just fell over there? That's the problem with these one bags. So, just like before, put this open... We'll be careful just shaking them out. So where'd that door go? Oh, it's in there somewhere. Oops, sorry. Not the, cam not the camera. Okay. What's that note? Okay, so it must be in there somewhere. We'll find it. All right, then. So, put these two on the side for a moment. Here we go. That's the nose. Clear parts. Oh, here we go. One undercarriage door. <sighs> right. We have this beautiful big section for the top. One huge piece. Some beautiful moulding going on there. Some very clever moulding going on there. Uh, some nice detail. I think perhaps you know the, the smaller one, some Sigma Phantom from the other week. Probably nicer and crisper. Some more detail on it. Now, what is here is really nice. Uh, you can get the camera to just catch on the wing route there. Looking nice. I don't know. For a, uh, for a hundred old, expected more sort of rivets everywhere, being uh, the time it was. We've got some nice uh, rocket pod noses here. And uh, pilot probe tanks. Rest of the rockets there. We've got the uh, sections for the underside wings again with some nice, uh, nice detail on there and on the inside again. You can get it to focus. There we go. On there. On the inside, we've got some lovely detail inside the uh, bays there. Again, they've kept the ejection marks just outside the bay so they won't foul with it. Might want to scrub across them just to make sure nothing uh, fouls on when you close everything up. But they're looking nice, tails there. Yep, liking that. Next sprue. 
Is this really only three sprues? Wow. Uh, we've got a load of the smaller parts. Uh, so we've got, you know, choices of undercarriage doors, wheels. There's some nose wheel there. Looks like the hubs. Just there for the main wheels and the multiple part ejection seats. Uh, the sides of them just there. Got a big old brute that's done. We've got the different choices there. Uh, if you want to use the molded in um, belts or add your own later. I'm sure Red Art will be on that one. Again, looking pretty simple and pretty nice. I'm liking that. Looks like we've got weight on wheels as well. A little bit of a, uh, is that, oh, there's a little cut out there on purpose. I'm sure that'll make more sense when you build it up. Yeah, we've got weight on wheels. Ah, we've got uh, instrument panel with everything moulded in, if you prefer. To do things that way. And we've got, right, here we go, quite important ones here. These are your main section here. So again, it's very simple detail, but really quite nice. Not too heavy either for Airfix's standards. Maybe a touch heavy for everyone else's. Uh, nice looking fan blade there for the front. And then we've got the tail sections. Now we've got, uh, so this will be the inside of the uh, intakes. Absolutely nothing on those whatsoever. And then on the other side there, Pardon me. Uh, does look we've got some ejection uh, marks right at the very back. Let's be honest, that is never going to be seen and would very, very quickly be got rid of. There's nothing down the front here where it would be really awkward to try and clean up, so that's fine, I think. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of ejection marks on the insides of here, but again, nothing that's even ever going to be seen. You don't see any of that at all. Um, again, when it comes to the rear again, We've got some marks here, but you won't see that because this will be going in here. Uh, so you won't see any of those whatsoever. It'll be the inside of this one that matters. And that is all smooth. And then we've got some more detail there. The sort of basic shock cone. Okay. Well. Looking across it all. Just be careful the nose cone. Bit of a kit of two halves, I think. Um, quite a simple kit. Not going mental on the parts. Oh, sugar. Yet again, I nearly missed the clear parts. So, And they've been obliterated inside the bag. So I have to be very, very, very careful. very very carefully okay so we do have a choice of uh, clear uh, we've got multiple part if you want open and one piece if you want it closed now it has been knocked rather badly um, but actually it's only these uh, molding pieces that seem to have been knocked off so that's okay to be fair not even so much as a scratch on there and they're beautifully clear and uh, beautifully uh, there's no um, distortion there whatsoever so I'm actually really, really happy with those and it looks like we've got the uh, wingtip lights all moulded in here make that easier so yeah apart from me getting a bit of a knock I'm actually, I actually really like those so going back to uh, my general thoughts a bit of a kit of two halves so um, I think the detail could perhaps maybe be go a little bit further. I mean, especially when you look across the top here on the art, you can see this is covered in riveting detail. The real thing really are. You go and take a look at one, you know, in a museum and stuff, and they were a little bit agricultural looking sometimes in the surface detail. So perhaps I would have seen a little bit more. Again, though, this goes back to my whole point about Airfix, though. Uh, they tend to build things for everyone. Um, so I suppose, you know, you can always add it if you choose to. If you prefer not to, you know, you still got that brilliant uh, base part. Looks like a relatively simple kit. There's not many parts, um, and it's going to build up to quite a uh, quite a large aircraft. 
Um, so, yeah. Um, the Hulk Hunter, of course, utterly beautiful uh, Sydney Cam design. Uh, I quite like the choice of markings. I'm liking the uh, our Commander's one. Surprised there's no treble one. Maybe that might appear in uh, future boxings, the F4, uh, etc. Uh, but, you know, you kind of everything. And again, I'm sure the aftermarket will soon sort me out. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you're in the market for some uh, for some Cold War and uh, you want something a little bit more up-to-date than the uh, old Academy uh, boxing, I can, again, heartily recommend the uh, the Airfix one. Uh, they're really on a bit of a roll now. So, uh, yeah. Going to look forward to uh, some of those further releases down the line. The uh, Tiger Moth is uh, going to be coming out in 148. Uh, that 172nd Buccaneer. Yeah, guys. Uh, initially in Navy option first. And all those tanks, which I'm led to believe are Academy uh, boxings. So they should be pretty good. Uh, yeah. FX is 148th uh, Hawker Hunter. Heartly recommended. Uh, again, well done, Airfix. This is more like it. That's what we like to see. As always, um, like, comment, share. You know, uh, say what you like, uh, say what you want to see more of. And uh, I'll just see you again next time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.